We want to wow our customers. I am seeing this more and more. See, I lead my life that I learn something new every day. I might be showing my agent here. Anybody remember Doogie Howser, the TV show? Okay, Doogie Howser. And at the end of the show, Doogie Howser would type into his diary uh, something from that day. And that's how I lead my life, you know, something very simple. And so now, here I am at Monroe Muffler. I'm at Monroe Muffler, and there's this big sign in there to wow the customers. We hear, but what does it mean when we say wow the customers? If I ask you to define wow, what would you say? There we go. I'm defining it by welcome every customer, okay? But now, yeah, we're going to welcome them. I don't just mean say hello, how are you? Welcome them. Say, okay, you've been on a plane. You've been in a car. Well, I shouldn't say a car because they, they're all chargers. But for example, someone getting off a plane. Okay, I'm curious, what percentage of your people come off planes here? Just a curious. 20%, How many? I think about 20. 20, okay. So you have 20% of your guests getting off a plane. They probably want to charge their cell phones. Now, what if they walk into a lobby and there's a charge station? So when we say welcome every guest, yeah, hello, how are you, fruit at water, but what else can you do for them? Because you need to obsess about details. That's why this is another theme of today's presentation. Obsess about details. I've been showing you examples of, of details. That's what, how I define wowing the customers. In the end, you win their business, but we also know what? Hey, happy people tell how many people? And unhappy, yeah, right? It's low. But by doing these items, saying, you know, I just, I was in Key, I don't want to go to Key West, you know, you know, it, you're there after a couple days, you know, there's nowhere to shop, there's no Neiman Marcus, there's no Louis Vuittons, there's no Henry Bendels, okay, oh no, they'll jet you up to Worth Avenue for the day, 